Hi, my name is Jen Watson Martin, and this is a presentation describing my Florence Nightingale Senior Leadership Scholarship 2020. My name is Jen Watson Martin, and this is a presentation describing my Florence Nightingale Senior Leaders Scholarship 2020. I'm known as Jen Watson, and I'm the Director of Nursing at the Denmark Hill site, King's College Hospital, London. I have been nursing for over 30 years. I initially trained and worked in Edinburgh and moved to London where I steadily completed a variety of acute care specialty courses, a BSc Honours and an MSc in Advanced Practice and Strategic Leadership. My career has predominantly been within ICU settings in teaching in specialist hospitals. I have worked as a sister, matron and divisional nurse director. I moved to King's College Hospital four years ago, which is a, a large, complex teaching hospital, and I've recently pr promoted to the site Director of Nursing, Denmark Hill. I've completed a number of leadership programmes and have recently stepped down as the organisation's Freedom to Speak Up guardian. I've thoroughly enjoyed my career in nursing and love the opportunity and options which nursing can provide. Getting it right for people in our care is fundamental as well as fostering the right environment for that to happen. Standout moments. This probably started with a personal assessment. Insights provided by the 360 degree feedback which linked in with the MBTI results. And this was expertly delivered by an experienced coach who provided balanced enthusiasm and positivity. Meeting colleagues on the Senior Leaders F&F course has also been invaluable. We all really clicked, especially on our third day residential, and we worked extremely well together in the number of exercises and group working sessions. The scholarship provided an amazing opportunity to shadow, amongst others, Professor Mark Radford and Dame Professor Anne-Marie Rafferty. Spending time with these very generous nurse leaders has been inspirational. I was given access to confidential decision-making meetings at Skipton House and a parliamentary RCN lobbying session, both fascinating. But just spending time with Mark and Anne-Marie and listening to their experiences and thoughts was really special. Like that, likewise, there were opportunities after dinner where we have had great motivational speakers. Dame Yvonne Moore, was one especially memorable. Moments. This probably started with the personal assessment. Insights provided with 360 feedback, which linked in with our MBTI results. This was expertly delivered by an experienced coach who provided balanced enthusiasm and positivity. Meeting colleagues on the senior leaders FNF course has been invaluable. We all clicked, especially on our three-day residential, and worked extremely well, working through a number of exercises and group work sessions. The scholarship provided an amazing opportunity to shadow Professor Mark Radford and Dame Professor Anne-Marie Rafferty. Spending time with these generous nurse leaders has been inspirational. I was given access to confidential decision-making meetings at Skipton House and a parliamentary RCN lobbying session both absolutely fascinating. But just spending time with Mark and Anne-Marie and listening to their experiences and thoughts has been really special. Likewise, there were opportunities with after-dinner speakers who were great motivational speakers, such as Dame Yvonne Moore, who was especially memorable. And at moment, May 2019, at Westminster Abbey, commemoration service for Florence Nightingale which is especially poignant remembering Edith Cabell, with selection of colleagues from our Senior Leaders course. Standout moment. Lobbying with RCN President Dame Anne-Marie Rafferty, securing support from the Right Honourable Emma Thornbury. Standout moments. Time with colleagues and senior leaders really enabled a greater networking impact. I was also extremely lucky to have Sir Robert Francis as a mentor. This was entirely daunting but Sir Robert put me at ease. Again, he was so generous with his time and wisdom. I also met Flo Panel Coates when judging a Nursing Times Workforce Award. 
She also has provided valuable support and mentorship during 2020. The much anticipated RADA personal presence and impact session was phenomenal. This had exceptional facilitation and brought insights and techniques which will stay with me. I never appreciated the art of speaking slowly, which not only enables time to internally think, but projects calm, as well as the art of breath, which would have such a powerful impact. These sessions also use transactional analysis to great effect and Johnny was also able to explore how our different, more pronounced characteristics potentially influence or inhibit others. Stand out moments. In esteemed company, part of a judging panel at the Nursing Times Workforce Awards. Amazing finalists and a really fun day. The scholarship provided an opportunity for self-focus, self-challenge, and provided greater insights into my impact, presentation and motivations. Recognising I'm still very much a work in progress. Career developments. I was promoted in November to the VSM role of Site Director of Nursing. The work done and the experiences on the Thorns Nightingale Foundation Scholarship indisputably helped the success. I was interviewed in April 2020 and started in post several months later. I am extremely proud of this achievement and can you continue to work alongside some remarkable people. However, 2020 was the year the worldwide COVID-19 pandemic started. Leading through COVID-19, the two surges. It's hard to find the words with which to personally describe my experience of both surges in one of the busiest hospitals in the UK. Thousands of patients came through the organisation, which brought enormous challenge, fear and disruption. Services responded with incredible skill, readiness, unity and strength. I was personally responsible for leading large services and managing the redeployment of large numbers of nursing staff. The personal consequence for some nursing staff may be career ending. The busiest organisations were burdened with the highest incidence of moral injury. How we reach out identify staff at higher risk and promote health and well-being will be key in the coming weeks and months. The unprecedented experience led to a number of impossible situations and decisions, which I was invited to share at a recent Schwartz round. The pervading emotions related to these difficult decisions remain. 19 also prevented my trip to New York as part of the Florence Nightingale Foundation Scholarship. It had to be cancelled in March 2020. I had reached out to Razan Raz Razzo, Vice President and Chief Nursing Officer at New York Presbyterian. And I had enrolled on a two day leadership course at NYP, followed by a two day visit to the organisation, learning about their culture and nursing strategy. This will be rescheduled when the pandemic allows, but its cancellation was really disappointing. NYC had a terrible surge in March 2020 and Rosanne and I were able to exchange emails during this time. The pandemic limited my ability to develop a specific project as part of the scholarship. However, it didn't limit my leadership capabilities. The point of the programme is the positive impact on patients in their care. Whilst no specific project, I have completed the following. I developed an improving quality and safety meeting, which is monthly, with all ward leaders and matrons across the site reviewing many nursing metrics, patient experience, in order to drive up standards, focus on accountability and responsibility, and provide smart actions. I've also provided focus and centralisation of tracheostomy work within the organisation using nursing staff who have been shielding to look at developing our service, competencies and training. Looking to already established bundles, we have linked in with the National Tracheostomy Safety Project. We've also worked with patients who have a tracheostomy to help guide our patient literature. And we've developed a new role in the trust, the tracheostomy lead nurse. I've also worked using the Culture of Care Barometer an evidence-based tool to explore and understand clinical cultures. I was invited by NHSI to present my experience as part of the National 
Quality Improvement Task Force for Children and Young People's Mental Health, Learning Disability and Autism in Patient Services. I've also developed a twice-weekly MS Teams meeting for senior nurses across the site to have updates and a channel to comment, promoting increased connection and communication. The point of the programme is the positive impact on patients and their care. Whilst I have no specific project, I have completed the following. I've developed improving quality and safety. A monthly meeting with all senior leaders and matrons across the site, reviewing many nursing metrics and patient experience in order to drive up standards, focus on accountability and responsibility using smart actions. I provided focus and centralisation of tracheostomy work within the organisation identified a senior nurse to develop our services, improve our competencies and training. Looking to already established bundles, we have linked in with the National Tracheostomy Safety Project. We are now also working with a patient who has a tracheostomy to help guide our patient literature, and we've developed a new role in the trust, the tracheostomy lead nurse. I've worked using the Culture of Care Barometer an evidence-based tool to explore and understand cult clinical cultures. And I was recently invited by NHSI to present my experience as part of the National Quality Improvement Task Force for Children and Young People's Mental Health, Learning Disability and Autism in Patient Services. I've developed a twice-weekly MS Teams meeting for senior nurses cross-site to have updates and, channel and provide a channel for comment increasing connection and communication. Promotion, the Back to the Floor Friday at King's, an important element for senior nursing staff and frontline engagement. I'm working closely with the Academic Centre in the UK as King's participant in the second cohort of an international research study, Magnet for Europe. This is a four-year mixed method evaluation of organisational redesign an evaluation of the effect of implementing a magnet-based intervention on nurses and doctors' mental health and well-being, which is even more pertinent and important post-COVID-19. I'd like to give an enormous thank you to Health Education England who funded my scholarship. I shall write separately to Professor Mark Radford. Thank you. I set in motion the Back to the Thor of Friday at King's an important element for senior nursing staff and frontline engagement. I'm working closely with the Academic Centre in the UK as Kings participate in the second cohort of an international research study, Magnet for Europe. This is a four-year mixed method evaluation of organisational redesign, an evaluation of the effect of implementing a magnet-based intervention on nurses and doctors' mental health and well-being, even more pertinent and important post-COVID-19. I would like to give an enormous thank you to Health Education England who funded my scholarship.